Let me let me ask a couple questions here on the um, on the fees on non. Uh, producing leases, and, uh, and this relates to both onshore and, and offshore. A as you know, up north, we're in a situation where we've got onshore um, producers that are looking to advance on, on the NPRA, uh, but we haven't been able to get the, the permit to advance a, a bridge so that we can explore. Offshore, Shell has been waiting for five years now to get their, their permits to go offshore. Is it the position of the department that, um, uh, that, that penalties for non-producing, whether onshore in NPRA or offshore in the Chukchi would be assessed if it's the agency that is holding up the the production or the attempt to produce, I'm trying to understand what this means for us in Alaska because we're trying our darndest to get to production. And it is the federal government, it is the agencies that are keeping us from doing this. But if the, if the department's approach is going to be, we're going to assess fees, we're going to assess penalties because you haven't been producing, this is, this is a real issue for us. So I'm trying to understand where this might take us. Thank you, uh, Senator Murkowski. Let me just say at, at the outset, I think it's important for all of us to know the context that there uh, are huge swaths of the public estate that are out there that have been leased to oil and gas companies which simply are not being produced uh, in the, on the onshore itself. We have uh, 41.2 million acres of land that we have leased, much of which has been leased under my watch. And uh, yet we only have 12.2 million acres that are actually producing on the onshore. In the offshore, we have a total of uh, 38 million acres of uh, of uh, OCS has been leased and yet only 6.3 million acres uh, that are actually in production. Now, I recognize the fact that it takes time uh, to go out and to do the uh, seismic and the exploration and the development of these fields. Uh, the fee that is uh, in the President's budget uh, will, be, uh, uh, will be imposed in a, in a way where we will work out the details of uh, how exactly that will, that, that will be imposed. But let me say this. On uh, permits especially, uh, the ones that you speak about, the MPRA, uh, we are working to try to see how we can move forward with that. The BLM had uh, proposed uh, the approval of a, of a necessary bridge to allow the, the, the development of, um, of CD5. Uh, we are continuing to work on that to see how we can make that happen. And as uh, we have uh, spoken as well, uh, it was our view that as we move forward with uh, developing additional information so that we can uh, look at how oil and gas might develop, de be developed safely in a smart way in the Arctic. We had prepared to move forward with uh, the uh, Shell uh, permit. Uh, we will see how that moves forward as additional permits are, are required uh, into, the next, into the next season. Well, Mr. Secretary, I, I did not hear you say that there will not be fees imposed for non-producing leases if it is, in fact, our own federal agencies that are prohibiting any production. In both of these cases, it's EPA that has held us off at every turn. So I would certainly like the assurance that as long as there is the effort being made, that we're not going to be penalized when it's the federal government that is holding us back. Let me, uh, I'm going to have uh, either David or Pam maybe uh flesh this out a little bit, but it's, it seems to me the concept here is that we want diligence in the development uh, of the public estate, okay? And so the monetary uh, fee uh, will produce a kind of diligence that hopefully will uh, move forward with uh, additional development and production. I don't believe, and Pam, here, I'm gonna, you don't have to write me a note, just I'm going to ask you the question. <laughs> but uh, the, 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 the question, I think, is whether the $4 fee per acre uh, will be applied everywhere, or, or, or how are we going to bifurcate between those areas that uh, may be in a situation as uh, the Beaufort and the Chukchi are today versus other areas? And I would expect, Pam and, or David, correct me on this, that this is something that we would be working on with, uh, with, uh, with OMB and with the Congress to figure out exactly how we're going to do it. Well, and I would suggest that $5 billion by Shell demonstrates a due diligence over a five-year period. Um, I, 
I would like to get some clarification on this uh, if this if this advances. I'm well over my time, but this is an extraordinarily important issue, not only for us in Alaska, but throughout the country here. Uh, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I, you know, the due diligence concepts on uh, natural resource development uh, are, are shredded in, are, 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 are a part of the culture of, of the development of, of our natural resources and our water resources uh, in, in this country. And I, I do agree with you that there has been due diligence that has been shared.